Hello everybody, this is Luke Godzilla fan. Today I'm going to do my first ever video game unboxing. Today I'm going to do an unboxing of a game for the Wii called Metroid Other M. This is the latest installment in the Metroid series and I'm just very happy to get this. First let's take a look at the artwork and the, the game. Him, here's Adam. I'm not gonna explain any of the characters because I'm just gonna do an unboxing. I'm not gonna talk about the whole series. So here's Samus, and here's Samus in her battle suit. Really cool. I like the artwork. It's not like video games today. They just use the same, um, like the same characters from the game. It's nothing. It's not drawn or anything. It's all from from the game. So I like the artwork. It, likes, it makes it look very stylish. There's the station in the background where you are in the entire game. It's actually really big. I think it's this. It's like the size of the Death Star. Okay, here we have the back of it. Here it says, the tale of Samus can now be told. And it has really cool cinematic scenes made with CG, which I think is really good. Here's a cryosphere or something like that. It's a place in the station where there's a lot of ice. And um, you can page fun. Change from um, third person perspective to first person perspective by tilting the Wii mode. Oh, you pointing the screen at it. Really cool. So here's Samus in the Varius suit. So yeah, we are took a look at the cover. It's T14. So this is really good. There's no other M game that's um, from mature game f that's rated mature, and that's really good. I don't like mature games. This isn't a game about blood or shooting. It is about shooting, but uh, it's more about exploring and knowing what to do. And also, it has to do about the story, which is really cool. And here's it, Metroid Other M. Even though I know a lot of the game's backstory because I read the Japanese manga. So let's open this thing. this thing, I'm going to use help from the 12 inch Gigan. I'm going to do this, wait. There we go. Okay, now it's open. Wait. Okay, now let's see. Okay, we get this plastic. Okay, I'm gonna throw it in the garbage later. Okay, here's the game. Really cool. Let's take a look inside. Here's the disc. Really cool. Here's uh, Club Nintendo. Uh, let's take this out. And then. Um, here show some other games, um, two of which I don't know, and I have this one, Super Mario Galaxy 2. But here's the manual, that's what we want to see right now. The manual's kind of big, oh, let's just look this here like this. The manual's kind of big, but that's because it has different languages. So don't worry about it, it's not a hard game to learn the controls or stuff. Okay. Really cool. I like how black it is. It gives it a really stylish look. This is how you play the game with the Wii mode sideways. And when you point it at the screen, you get the first person perspective. You can't move, but you can use missiles and many other stuff. You see? Search view. First person perspe perspective is called search view. And uh, here's save stations and map screens. You have items and um, yeah, features and actions. We have different kinds of beams: the normal beam, the charge beam, the ice beam, the wave beam, and the plasma beam. There's also the diffusion beam, the grapple beam, the normal missile, the super missile, and the seeker missile. And uh, there's also uh, there's other items here. I'm gonna name them all: the speed booster, the shine spark, 
the space jump, the screw attack, the kick climb. Well, these are not other items. These are sometimes moves you can perform differently. So not all of these are items. Like the sense move, the kick climb, the lethal strike, and overblast. They are not items. They are moves you can make. The Shine Spark is an item because, oddly enough, in the older games, in Super Metroid, it was actually made in conjunction with the Speed Booster. So, yeah. So, now we have the same thing, only in other languages. So, yeah. Let's just put this back in here. So, yeah. Thanks for watching this unboxing video. I'm sure going to play this game because it really looks awesome. I've been shocked the first time I saw the trailer. It just looked amazing. And I have Metroid Prime Trilogy, the original Metroid and Super Metroid. So, you can call me a Metroid fan, but the only game I don't like is Metroid Prime Hunters. I mean, it's just not my thing. I don't like it. Besides, I don't have a DS. So, yeah. I hope everybody enjoyed this unboxing video. Okay, thanks for watching. This is Luke Godzilla Fan, signing out. <laughs>